Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's going to be a get ready with me video and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Master Palette by Mario. And it's going to be the look that I'm wearing. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. I've done put uh, my moisturizer on my face and it was this uh, Henriksen Sheer Transformation. I got this in a Ipsy or Sephora. I forget which. And I've used my Tarte Eye Cream Maracuja C Brightener Eye Treatment. I've done those. And I was going to use this Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. I tried this once before, and you all know this was a big thing. On YouTube, I think it was started by Nikki Tutorials, and I tried this once, twice maybe, but it's been a while, and I wasn't impressed with it before, so I thought that I would give it a try, and just see because I've changed up my skincare stuff and you know our faces are like a canvas you know if you've ever did any artwork you know you have to prep your canvas before you start painting it and I always call it painting my face so I gotta get my canvas ready you see and we give that a minute to kind of do its thing and I'm going to be using the IT CC cream and this is the shade Fair. The Fair is too white. The light is too dark. I think I said that before. So I'll usually mix the two but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try and bronze it up a little you know and kind of put some color. I had emailed them some time ago and they're supposed to be working on more shades, but now that, uh, I forget who it is that bought the, um, the It Cosmetics thing, I don't know what they're going to, what they'll come up with. So, if you can see how white that is. But, I'd rather be white than this red you see coming through oh gosh Deb don't panic you believe that? You'll put your eye out, Ralphie. Okay. Maybe no damage was done in the making of this video. No eyeballs were harmed. Okay. Where is my brush? I need to clean my brushes. That was pretty stiff. Okay. This is the one I wanted. Okay, I'm going to use my It Cosmetics brush. I don't remember what I got this with. This may have came with the um, I think I got this brush with the Celebration Foundation, the original, I think, and I'll just tell you, I believe I like it every bit as good as the Sigma F80. I think it works just as good.
I've always been kind of uh, light skinned because I'm not an outdoor person. So I never got out in the sun very much because, for one thing, I can't stand to be hot. Never could. And so, you know, you're going to get kind of warm if you get out in the sun. So, and you know, back in Elizabethan times, it was a sign of, uh, what's it called? What's the word? Royalty or hierarchy or whatever you call it. To be fair, instead of tan, because if you were tan meant you worked outside and, you know, you kind of had to work for a living. Okay, now that we're nice and pale and ghostly, uh, I need to, uh, I'm going to Okay, now I'm going to use my better skin. Uh, the more I use this, the better I like it, but I still don't like it as well as I do my Age Rewind. So, the brush I like to use for this is uh, these Jessup brushes that I, I got on eBay. Uh, I forget what her name is, but I did a, done a video on Jessup brushes. If I can find that, I'll link that in the description box below. It was a different set. It was a, an eye set, but I found these. There's like four of these and four of these. I really like them. And I paid maybe $20 for the set or less. And uh, if I can find that information, if I can remember, I will, uh, that seller, I will link that in the description box below too. I really like how these blend. And good brushes don't have to be expensive to be good. Which, I don't own any MAC brushes. I do own some Sigma brushes. And Sigma, they're nice brushes. Uh, but you can still get good brushes cheaper. Uh, now, to set that... I'm going to use my Celebration Foundation with SPF 50 and this is in the shade light and I'm going to use that to set this foundation Plus, this actually gives me a little more color. Now, I really don't like to use this powder foundation as a foundation because it shows up my pores and my wrinkles and stuff like that. And I remember in grade school, it seemed like all my teachers were old women. But uh, they always wore powder. You know, they would, after lunch, they would powder their nose and reapply their lipstick and stuff. And the best that I remember, their skin didn't look dry. Their skin looked soft. And it just didn't look dry and like what a lot of powder would cake on and, and be like now. So I don't know if it was the kind of powder back then. I'm talking like in the 
uh, late 60s would have been when I was in elementary school. Okay, so now what I'm going to do for bronzer is I'm going to use uh, from my pure, pure, pure. Uh, I'm going to use this one is the lightest one. Because we don't want to look like we got mud on your face. And you know, even though I have my, my bangs dropped down over my forehead, so this wouldn't really be important to do in my case. But like I said, I get hot and sometimes I'll just flip my bangs up out of the way. So, you know, we want a big white shiny forehead looking at everybody. I don't. You know, you gotta think ahead. I like this bronzers in these, in this. I like that pretty good. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna take this darker shade and do me a little bit of a contour. And I'm gonna use my Lexi, Lexi 512 small contour. Okay, let's see how dark this is gonna be. You know, my jaws are kind of, I have a little bit of a, a suck in place on my jaws. So I kind of have a little bit already. But, I don't know, that looks kind of dark. And you know, this, this jaw over here just never, I don't know if it's my eyes or what, it just never seems to do, to do the same for me as my right side. Anyone else have that problem? Now for my blush, I'm going to use one of these, and these are the blushes that came in the big Tarte Blush Book 2. And so I just took them out. They were uh, in the packaging they came in. You can just just take them up out of there, and so I'll put them in a Z palette. And I think I really like these two shades that are kind of neutral. And I like this peachy one here. And this is like a highlighter. And uh, these two that I have stuck over here on the end are my least favorite out of that bunch. I think I showed that in a haul that I got. Uh, but I don't think I've done a get ready with me using these yet. So this will be a first. So what I'm going to do is use this blush and I wrote the names on the back and this one is Fasty. I'm not really feeling Fasty but we'll not let that hinder us. And I'm going to use an Encore small chisel blush brush for that. Now I love Tarte blushes. And it only takes a little. There's an old saying, a little dab will do you. That might have been a dippity do commercial. And if you're as old as me or older, you will remember that. Dippity do. So I kind of like a neutral blush. 
a neutral blush that does not clash with whatever lipstick you or lip that you use. It won't clash with that. It won't clash with your eye look. So you should, it would be, a neutral blush will serve you well in your collection. Now, before I forget, I like to go and take some powder. I like the powder out of the Wet n Wild Contour. And with, uh, this is a Luxie. Luxie pointed kabuki and I like to take this light shade and kind of make that a little bit sharper there. I don't know if this would be considered baking or not. Okay, I usually do that kind of mostly as a cleanup kind of thing and let it sit there for like a minute or so. Okay, I've been hesitant about using a highlighter ever since. Uh, a few days ago, my husband, we were eating out and it was uh, in a restaurant. It was in the daytime and the sun was shining real bright, you know, through the windows and everything. And my husband looked at me and he said, you got something gold on top of your cheek right there. Well, it was my highlighter. So, you know, apparently it was noticeable that I had something gold on my cheek, that it was not highlighting. You know, I felt like that it wasn't doing what it was supposed to be doing as a highlighter. It just looked like I had gold and I didn't have that much. So, I've kind of thought, you know, about whether I should even use highlight or not. And I know that's a man. He didn't say, oh, your highlighter's gold and, you know, it's not, not looking good. He, my husband doesn't know makeup that well to know that. So, I just, I've been kind of hesitant to use it. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to use a little bit. So I'm going to kind of blend that away that I just did. And, you know, I'm going really to try to some brushes. I really do. I'm going to try this. I'm not trying to brush this small to do highlighter with. But it's an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer brush. I know it's clean. So I'm going to go into this uh, Tarte highlighter that came in the blush book and it is called Breathless. Just in case you would want to know. Okay, I'm going to go in that highlighter. Just a little bit. Okay, is that even showing up? And this is kind of a uh, kind of a pinky, champagne -y, uh It's actually a subtle highlighter, I think. But years and years ago, before I ever knew anything about highlighters, we would have a shimmery blush. We would have a matte blush and a shimmery blush. And so what you would do is you would put the matte blush down and then put the shimmery kind of at the top, like where we use a highlighter now, we used a shimmery blush. So it was, it was kind of the same thing, but a lot more subtle. So, that's all I'm going to highlight with that. And I forgot to put anything on my lips and they feel, don't feel very good right now. So, so I'm using my Perlice uh, Lip Moisturizer. I 
I think it's getting time for me to exfoliate my lips. And uh, that will do better. So I'm going to go back into this pure, 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 and use this uh, highlighter here and put that over uh, the rest of my face where I like to do a little bit, a little bit of highlight like on my nose and kind of brighten things up a little bit. Okay, off camera, I went ahead and did my eyebrows so that way this video won't be so long. It seems like my eyebrows takes me so long to do, but I'm going to use my Too Faced Primer uh, Shadow Insurance and I'm about to get it used up. Now this Too Faced Shadow Insurance, it's a good eye primer, but I think that there's um, others that are cheaper that are will work as good. Like I like the Wet n Wild one. I think Elf has a good one. And uh, those are the only two I can think of right off my head, off the top of my head. For my eyeshadows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Master Palette by Mario. And I'm sure you've already saw this if you watch any YouTube videos. And I want to use this green because I don't know if it shows how well it shows up on the video, but I have a green in my blouse. And I'm not usually one that matches my eyeshadow stuff with what I'm wearing, but I really want to use this green. The only fault I have with this palette is it doesn't have the light matte shade like I prefer to do as a foundation for my eyeshadow so I have to go into something else and a lot of times I will just grab my Carly Bible because it's handy and because I really like this shade right here And the brush I like to use on this is, this one is a jumbo shadow, and this is an encore. And I have another one that is a Jessup. If y'all be interested in me doing like my favorite brushes of the brushes I have or anything about that, you can let me know. Okay, I'm going to go in this shade here. And it is called Lula. And that's what I'm going to. Ooh. It's a little bit darker than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to do that in my crease. shade. Okay, now I'm going to take this green color that I like that's called the Bronx and I'm going to apply it with my finger to my eyelid. It looks dark, don't it? Did somebody punch me in the eye? Okay, I don't know if it's gonna work.
Okay. So I'm gonna go back over that first shade. Thin down those edges. So I'm also going to take that same brush and with that same shade and do my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go back into that brown shade with that same brush and go over that dark. And then I'm going to take the pencil end of this Sigma brush and blend that in. So it doesn't look so harsh. You know blending really makes all the difference in how your eye look looks. Your eye look looks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this shade called Isabel and put that in the crease of my eye over where I put the Lula. Okay, now I'm kind of leery of these dark shades because it seems like with blue eyes they make you look like somebody's punched you in the eye give you a black eye. Okay, now I'm going to take my pencil brush and I'm going to go into this shade called the Fifth Avenue here. And do just a little bit of that in the corner. And all those shades are a little bit gold. This one and this one, they're just kind of gold. Too gold instead of, uh, if they were just a little bit lighter would be so much more to my liking. So now I'm going to go back into my Carly Bible palette and I'm going to take another pencil brush and go back into this matte light shade that I used before and put that under my eyebrow. So now I did a whole video of demonstrating how that I do my eyebrows and the whole thing was too blurry so I had to trash that so now I've got to let my eyebrows grow out some more and I'll try it again. So now I'm going to go off camera and put my mascara and false eyelashes on and I'll be right back. Okay, now I've put my mascara on, tight lined with my Mally Eye Pencil, and got my false lashes on. And if you can see, there's usually a gap 
between the corner of my eye and the beginning of the false lashes. So what I want to do is use a, my Kat Von D tattoo liner that came in, I think it's Sephora Play. And I'm going to fill in that space. So if you can tell the difference. So if you can see that fills in that gap from the corner up to the lashes. Okay, now for my lip, I am going to use my MAC lip liner in Whirl. And I'm going to use my Gerard Cosmetics Lip uh, Gloss in Plum Crazy. Really like these Gerard Cosmetics Lip Glosses. I can wear these for hours that they don't bleed outside of my lips. So that's my finished look. Thanks for getting ready with me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.